Hmm. All right, folks, I'm out with the Pontiac. Um, I've been on some of the message boards, and I've heard some people lament that they do not have a distributor machine in order to actually configure and correct their distributor curves with. What's interesting is it's sort of a rep misrepresentation of that you need a distributor machine in order to actually check your advanced curve. So you actually, in reality, only need a few basic tools. Pardon the lighting, but it's late at night, so I've got what I've got. Uh, the first tool you need is actually just simply a tag. That way you know what your RPM is. What that does for you is it lets you create data points on a chart. Because the idea is going to be that you're going to actually create a mechanical advanced chart by taking a few data points and compiling those. So the second thing you need is a basic timing light, if you notice. Nothing special. It's got no dial back. It's got nothing like that at all. So it's the simplest of simple timing lights. You know, the AutoZone $20 special, pretty much. The last thing you actually need, which you can't really see from here, is actually a timing tape. You could pick them up for a few bucks, things like that. So the idea is that what you do is you shine the timing light down here, you advance the throttle, and you keep track of the RPM. What you look for is where the advance starts coming in and whenever the advance stops actually advancing. So that will tell you the final points on your curve. You can take a few to get an idea, but the I but if you know the total advance that you're getting and when that advance stops coming in, it will tell you most of the data you need, I believe. So what I've done in this case is I've actually done exactly that. I found out that I have a 10 degrees of advance at about 1400 RPM and that my total timing mechanically it, with uh, the base timing is about uh, is about 30 degrees at 2,900 to 3,000 RPM. So the advance is coming in pretty good. I could probably use another, say, six, eight degrees of timing on this engine just because of what it is. The Pontiacs are old school engines, which means they love timing. So I've got a little bit of a ways to go here, but it's already way better than stock. What I'm going to end up having to do is grind down the center weights in the distributor themselves. It's not like EFI where you just go in on a keyboard and you change a couple things and you're done. On the plus side though, it looks like I'm getting about 8 to 10 degrees of vacuum advance in the mid-range based on having the cam plugged in and not having the cam plugged in where I was getting 30 degrees uh, with the cam unplugged. I was getting about 40 degrees with the cam plugged into the vacuum port. So that's actually a really good sign that the limiter I installed is actually working as planned. Well, that's about all I got for now. More to come. Later. Bye.